so today has been a productive day lights camera action um so my timing has been like all off and i know you guys see this wet spot right here um i was just outside in the snow taking pictures for the gram got to do it for the gram so um my son is my photographer if y'all were wondering <laughs> so i was taking pictures for ig um, because I got some new scrubs from Jan Yu. Um, I will post pictures somewhere up in here, but you can also go to the gram. Double tap that for me. Um, but they sent me some scrubs just to review, tell them how I like them. So I'm going to give you guys kind of a rundown. So this top, beautiful. Oh my gosh. So it has like the see-through pleating here as well as on the arms. Like I said, this is because I took pictures in the snow. So this is how the scrub top bottom looks so pretty the same pleating detail right here i absolutely love them so i got a size large in the top fit true to size a large in the bottom not fit true to size i could have definitely got a medium in the bottom this is my yellow lighting but um so like i said the top fits true to size and i really really like it i mean i love the top and i have some black some all black um bottoms and i think it will look really good with that even though i do love these pants like i said i just think they're a little bit too big for me well i know they're a little bit too big for me so my butt is not big at all so maybe that's the problem <laughs> <laughs> hey guys so i just got up i'm looking hella homeless um it is 3 49 i've been up for about an hour um i got 10 hours of sleep so I stayed up last night and um, I like cleaned up, I cleaned my kitchen, like thoroughly cleaned my kitchen. I just straightened up, like scrubbed, okay, um, my kitchen. And what else did I do? Um, I washed some clothes and then I finally went to sleep. So I ended up taking z around 3 o'clock so that I could be asleep by 4 o'clock. So I took some z I took a shower, kind of like calmed down, um, laid down, and then I went to sleep, and then I didn't get up today until like 2.30ish. So I got about 10 hours of sleep, which was good. I was hoping to get up, I was hoping to get 12, because <laughs> I'm just like so lazy, but 10 hours was really good, and one of my subscribers actually suggested taking a melatonin when I'm like five minutes out from my house because I do have to go to work again tomorrow night. Um, so I'm going to try that when I get home or like when I get closer to home tonight. Um, it is snowing like a mofo. Okay. So I'm just like relaxing, watching some YouTube videos, watching Quantico. It's trying to like get my mind right before I have to go in tonight. And I'm don't, I don't feel as sleepy, which is a good thing. But it is snowing so bad, and I'm just so aggravated. Um, I had, when I first got up, I took Tank out to use the bathroom, and then I just had to shovel myself out of snow. Um, so that way, when I do go to work, I can just zoom out. Now, I heard the roads are really good. Our neighborhood always looks worse than the actual main roads, and that's because they don't come and plow um with the same kind of trucks in our neighborhood as they do on the main roads like they plow on our roads just their plows aren't that great so our neighborhood always looks like we're in a snowstorm and so i never know how to judge it until i get out of my neighborhood i hope this is recording so today wasn't bad i ended up having my same patient i had this weekend and it was a one-to-one -one, so it was okay but i'm mad tired and I'm about to go home and crash. I was going to work out, but nah, bruh. So I'm walking in the pharmacy at night because apparently no one helps you get your meds. It's so fucking creepy. It's not that bad, but I am super tired. I think I'm going to have to drink my Red Bull when I get back in. So I'm so tired. Y'all probably sick of me saying that, huh?
every single time I come into Petco, I spend entirely too much money. Now I'm trying to find him a harness. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to work one of these. Guys, <sighs> I look a mess. I understand this. My hair is so dry um, because the water is so hard here. So I'm gonna have to start like deep conditioning my hair um, at least twice a week, which sucks because I never had to do that in Texas. I ordered a shower filter, like a water softener shower head filter um, for like all three of my showers. Cause hopefully that makes a difference because the water is so hard here. It's ridiculous. Um, so don't mind my hair. Also guys, I have new glasses. I don't know if you guys can tell, but your girl can see. Looking a little grainy-ish, but it's all good. I have another pair that I'll show you guys later. I don't feel like getting them out right now. But about two pair of glasses, I can finally see. My astigmatism is so bad that my lenses have to be a little thick. Like, the thinner glasses, like the thinner lenses, couldn't even get those. Because your girl is blind. It's sad. But now I can actually see. And compared to how I was seeing, I feel like that was dangerous. I don't know. Anyways, I just went to Dunkin' Donuts because they have a Dunkin' Donuts everywhere. They don't have Starbucks everywhere, so I have to get my iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Which is sad, but I mean, it is what it is. <sighs> um, what I'll come out here to tell you guys. Oh! I am running off of two hours of sleep. So I worked last night and then I got home, went to sleep for two hours and I was like, I am not about to ruin my Friday by sleeping all day and then being up all night while everybody else is like sleep. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take a two hour nap and then I'm just going to get up and go about my day and it is required coffee. Okay. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I got up, got my nails done. I just, do y'all see that? That is so ugly. Tank made me fucking slide my knuckles across the tree. But I got my nails done and it's just shellac. Uh, you can't really even see. Um, tried this new place. It's the only place that I've tried here. It was recommended by two of the girls that I work with. They both go there, said they've been going to her for years. And she actually did a really good job. I like it because I was the only one in her salon at the time um so it was just me and her it was very like personable and it was like a small little boutique um and or, like a small it was like a small little nail boutique so cute she's so funny just wanted to like update you guys on my sleeping so i am on friday night saturday night sunday night and i go back to work on monday night so i want at least my saturday and sunday my my times to be the same like I still wake up in the morning do you see what I'm saying hope that makes sense I don't know I don't even know if it makes sense I don't even know if I'm making sense but I need to go home yeah. so my intentions of going to Walmart was to get these curtain rods for my room I am like not even anywhere close to decorating my living room I've bought a lot of stuff. I haven't put anything up. And I'm still looking for two wall pictures that have navy blue in it, as well as gray. But a lot of stuff is navy blue and gold. So, it's just been a mess, okay? I needed to get some like gray curtain rods. And I found these at Target. And they are actually room darkening curtain rods and they are supposed to be for room darkening energy efficient curtain rods i don't know how curtain rods can make your room darker i don't know but i need my room as dark as possible so it's on me and i just bought two of these for my windows upstairs and then i'm going to show you guys i guess i'll show you i just bought a dark blue um this is from Project 62 at Target. I bought a clock as well, um, but I don't know where it's at right now. And then I just bought a navy blue throw blanket, and that's going to go on 
my recliner. Um, so yeah, I got that, and that was all I got for the house because I can't really find anything that's like navy blue. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of the other shit that I got. Boom, 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 boom. I have way too much energy to have only had two hours of sleep. I think I'm gonna crash, and I think I'm gonna crash hard. Mm hmm. But I need to decondition my hair. So I'm gonna show you guys hair products first. So um, I went back to a trusty um, deep condition. This is the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. Girl, this is $17.99. This is $18. And I legit can probably only get like four deep conditions out of this. <laughs> I know it's so sad, but it makes my hair so soft and so moisturized. And honestly, I stopped getting this in Texas because I really wasn't having the problem with dry hair. Now that I'm in a colder environment and my hair is just going through some things, I definitely needed to re-up on this. I had to bite the bullet and just get it because it is amazing. It works wonderful. It is so moisturizing. Like, it is ridiculous. So, I had to get this. Then, I got my, my like, regular Holy Grail deep conditioner. And this is the Shea Butter Manuku Honey and Mafruel Oil deep conditioner. Absolutely love this. I have been using this, like, every single time that I deep condition. Um, this is like the base to my deep conditioner. It is freaking amazing. Anybody ever ask me what my favorite deep conditioner is? I always tell them this. I always point them into this direction. So then, um, I got the Manuku Honey and Mafrua Hydrate and Design Max Hold Gel because I am out of a styler. I've actually never tried this and, um, it smells really good. It smells so bomb. Um, it smells just like the deep conditioner. So, I wanted to try this and see how I like it. I just got this as, like, on a whim. I had to back up. This is my OG um, leave-in conditioner. And this is the Kinky Curly Night Today. This will always be a fave. Every time I run out, I always repurchase it. That is my favorite leave-in conditioner ever. Another OG is my Eco Styler Gel. This is the Argan Oil Edition. This is the only Eco Styler Gel that does not crust my edges. <laughs> It gives me really good hold. It's like when you guys see me wear my washing goes and stuff and I have my hair parted. I always slick like my left side down and a little bit of the front down just because I feel like it just looks better on my washing goes. Like I can't just have my washing go just out. It just looks crazy to me. And um, it's probably because I need a shape up. But this is the only thing that holds my edges down and they do not get crunchy and crusty. Now Eco Style Gel has a new one out that has like shea butter and some other stuff in it. I'm itching to get my hands on it. I went to their website, but for a little jar, girl, it's like $18. This is $2.99. I'm not going to pay $18 for something that can be too... No. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not about that life. I'm about to deep condition my hair, put a mask on my face, get real still with some Netflix and Quantico, um, finish this coffee, and then I'll probably be asleep like within the next four hours. <laughs> Y'all, I'm too hyped to only be having two hours of sleep. Like, I don't think this is good. I really don't. But, the show must go on. <laughs> So since my dandruff is so bad, I'm going to start back doing hot oil treatments and see if that will help eliminate that issue. And then I'm going to uh, wash deep con Yes, that too. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use and hopefully he'll stop adding in his two cents. Maybe. So this is how dry my hair is. <laughs> and um, it's not even been a full week since the last time I watched, washed and deep conditioned my hair. Um, it just gets so dry so fast. So, um, like I said, I'm going to completely redo my whole entire hair care routine. But I am going to show you guys what I'm going to use to do my hot oil treatment. These are the oils I'm going to use for my hot oil treatment. I'm going to use avocado oil, wild growth oil, almond oil, and jojoba oil. And then I'm going to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil.
this is all of my hair that just shedded out which is not bad um, it's been shedding a lot more than this so I'm actually happy with this amount hair is so moisturized it was so soft once I washed out my deep conditioner and it is it just feels amazing I hope I can just keep it this moisturized the first thing I put in my hair once I washed out my deep conditioner is my kinky curly knot today and this is like my favorite leave-in conditioner is so moisturizing and I just got a backup of this so that's what I have in first and then the next thing is this verb curl cream it is so thick and it smells so good and it also is very moisturizing so these are the only two products I have in my hair tonight and then I actually style it tomorrow before I go to work <laughs> 